Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is exciting times. NFL is back. Week one is here. Uh, we're excited. Um, we got to watch Duke just dismantle Clemson. Clemson. Clemson looked out like just out coached last night. Like I didn't feel like they had a solid game plan watching that game. I'm so mad at myself. My number one system is home dogs in prime time. And I don't know if you count FSU as a home dog, but I kind of do, you know, yep. uh, they were close. And then, but Duke definitely was a home dog in prime time. Oh man. There was multiple systems in that game that I usually hit way harder that I only sprinkled on also dog up at half. Like there's just a bunch of games this week, past week where Colorado was the, the dog up at yep. half second half money line when a dog's up at half huge EV positive. So I'm mad. I think you and I combined lost like six units last week, which is yep. it's life. We gamble. We got a lot of bets out there. Uh, but I'm mad because there were so many systems that I swear by that you and I could have hammered and, and turned that around with three or four bets. Yeah, there was there was a couple that I just I, I I had the right play and I just didn't go at it like I should have. So that's week one. I, I can live with that and yeah. um, had yeah. a solid day in baseball yesterday. Um, I had a nice little baseball day. Baseball is weird right now. So I'm not like I'm, you know, I'm three, four units a day on baseball. That's it right now. Unless I'm, you know, these lineups are changing. Guys are getting pulled last second, right? Shohei didn't play last night. Like I would have taken a dip. Like I would have bet that I waited. I'm glad we did. We didn't bet it, but I would have bet Grayson if Shohei wasn't in the lineup but they scratched him seven minutes before the game starts. Right. So there's just baseball's at that end of the season, funky stuff happening. So, you know, we're just, we're being smart about baseball, not, not getting too crazy there. I agree. Well, my dude, let's dive in. All right. Well, we're going to, we always start off with our moonshot of the day. Um, this is just a simple, easy bet for me. Uh, the Mariners are at the great American small park. It's 90 degrees there. The wind's blowing out the, they brought up a kid named Connor Phillips, who is a young kid, a good arm for Cincy. He's only 22, but, um, you know, pitching to big league he hitters at home is very different than throwing in triple a for them. Uh, so Cal to hit a home run today at plus 280. We have the true line for this at plus 230. So if we can get it for plus 280, we'll definitely take the value there. I like it. 10% EV, uh, yeah. jumping down, <laughs> same game, different angle. I actually like the Cincinnati Reds here in the first five plus a half uh, at minus 104 on bet openly. I'm a huge fan of home teams plus a half a run, especially when they have an inferior pitcher. I know it sounds crazy to say this is a very tough ballpark to pitch in. And if you can give me Cincinnati to be tied or up and you win your first five, it's something I jump all over if it's cheap. So best bet openly bet of the day. Cincy Reds is open right now. First five plus a half run for minus 104. Yeah, I really like that. And then today um the Yankees are playing the Tigers, so we're going with Alex Fado over four and a half Ks plus 102. The lineup the Yankees is putting out Ks at almost a 30% rate. Um I, I just don't like this line's going to close at probably five and a half. I don't think this closes at four and a half today. If it does, it's like minus minus one fifty. Um, grab the value early. That line is a hundred percent going to move today. I love it. Uh, the odds jam EV positive bet openly play of the day. Dean Kremer um, over five and a half K's, but you got to get plus money here. So all you DFS cats, be careful. If you're putting this in a system that doesn't reward plus money, this sadly is not a bet. You need to be putting it into a parlay or DFS prop parlay that rewards underdogs. We have plus 122 on bet openly, but I do need at least plus 110 to justify this. So Dean Kremer, over five and a half Ks, plus 122 is EV positive. Thanks to Hodge, Jim. I like it. And uh, our bet openly DFS play of the day, Christian Yellick, um, he has just been money the second half. They play the Pirates today. Andre Jackson is just not a good pitcher. Um, at bet openly, the same way. So this is minus 103 at bet openly. This is minus 117 at C Caesar. So we don't want to bet it straight, right? But if you're going to give me 14 points of value, right, on someone we project over two bases, those are values I'm looking for. Um, and that's 
that's a great bet openly play today based on the value versus what you're getting at a regular book. And piggyback in here, guys, I think I said this probably like two months ago. I absolutely hate under one and a half basis bets, and I lost my ass twice this last week taking them. I love over one and a half bases or under a half. I know it sounds crazy, but the value is there because the public is usually on the opposite side. They love the under one and a half bases. So just put that in your back pocket. Uh, do as I say, not as I do, because I think I lost like three units last week against plays. I know I lost one and a half units yesterday on a play under one and a half. The value was there. Dude, straighten one out in the first, first at bat. So <laughs> hope that's helpful. Um, all right, Mida Jens. Now let's go through all of this again in the lightning round. I'm going to hand Trev the mic on Moonshots. We're going to get you five plays in like the next minute. All right. So straightforward. Cal Raleigh of the Mariners in the Great American Small Park. It's 90 degrees. Wind's blowing out. This should be plus 230, not plus 280 today. I like it. I hope he does that after the fifth inning because I'm on the Cincinnati Reds first five plus a half a run at minus 104 as my bet openly best bet. I just like home teams getting a half a run uh, against him when they have the inferior pitcher on the mound. I think there's a lot of value there. I uh, totally agree. Uh, Alex Fado today of the Tigers over four and a half Ks at plus 102. The Yankees are can like almost a 30% clip versus righties. Um, he's got a curveball that's just really hard to hit, which they have trouble with. Easy play for me at, at plus money. I like it. Odds Jam EV positive play on bet openly. Dean Kremer over five and a half Ks plus 122. Make sure you're getting plus 122. We have the true line here at plus 112. And our bet openly DFS play of the day, Kristen Yellick over one and a half total bases, minus 103. Um, that's just, we have it at minus 117 in other books. So you can use this as a bet openly, work it in. Um, don't go pay minus 115, 120 somewhere. Take it, work it into DFS play for plus 103. And as we finish the show, breaking news, Travis Kelsey hyperextended his knee at practice right now. And they don't know if now he's questionable for tomorrow night or Thursday night's game. Oh, we don't like to see that. No, that's uh, that could be really bad for Kansas City. So, and I have some Casey over bets with more. That line's going to move real, real fast. Like they're pulling them, I'm sure, as we speak. So, absolutely. Well, good luck to Kelsey. Good luck to you, Trev. Thanks for your show. Yep. Appreciate you, homeboy. Yep. Later, later. Later.